Bonjour, welcome back to the CCFC channel. And we're doing League 2 kits, every single League 2 kit that is currently being released. We've got AFC Wimbledon here. We're an absolute beauty. I'm liking the zigzags. I actually just think it is the Umbro logo, but massive, and they've made a pattern out of it. Yet, I think it, it's, it's simple, but it works very well. I'm going to give this one an 8.5. Uh, that's a bit too much. I'm going to give this one a 7.9. Ooh, okay. Now, could you you could wear this against a dark blue team. That's fine. Could you wear this against a light blue team? You could. Chelsea and City play each other in their home kits for some reason. I'm going to give this one. Oh, it's quite good. It's pretty much the same template as, I want to say, the Cambridge kit. I'm, I gave that a high rating. I don't like that the badges just slightly tip over the edge of the stripes. That's a bit annoying. Oh, I'm gonna give it a 7.5. That is annoying, that slightly overhanging. Accrington Stanley up next, and Wham! Is a odd sponsor. I didn't even know they were still going. Um, have they released any new songs? Who knows? Um, this is a really bad macro. Oh my God. Is it just men walking over a hill? This, is, this isn't like a less we forget November 11th from Remembrance Day thing, is it? Surely not. Oh, do I give it a bad rating? That feels disrespectful. I'm going to give this one a seven. Now, the away kit is, it's not good. Poor collar. At least put the badge in black and yellow, luminous yellow as well. That would make sense. Just sticking it in there like that. Not even in line with that. Floating above. Weird. Very weird. And then this big naff post uh, posterized graphic. It's just, yeah, not doing it for me. This is a solid 1.4. Oh my God. This is like almost reminiscent of that retro Leeds kit, but this is just so much worse. Just, just some paint splatter. Some absolute gangrene splooge. Weird. And that's like a light pale. No, this is a solid like 0.2. Dreadful. Barrow. Now, oh, <laughs> Submarines. Cool. That's cool, that. Submarines. Is this a sponsor to go to Canada? Or is it to to get dogs from Canada? I'm very confused by whatever this is. But submarines. Submarines are pretty cool. Unless you're in them or being attacked by one. Then they're not very cool and they're terrifying. I'm going to give this a 6.5. I think the submarines should continue onto the sleeves. This is awful. So they're like stripes, but then they like bulge. They're bulbous. Ooh. Oh no. And the sponsor's really... Oh, it's high up on that as well. The sponsor's really high up. Very odd. I'm giving this one a 0.2. What is going on in Barrow? And this is a shaky image of what surprisingly isn't the goalkeeper. I've said a lot about wanting green more green kits but this isn't it this is this is a plain green t-shirt and the sponsor is down in a normal area now but maybe a little bit too low i'm confused by the positioning on all these kits i'm gonna give this one a four. Oh, okay okay now you see i wouldn't like this little polka dot sort of spillage i wouldn't like you know the paintbrush texture but I think the centralization of these, the black and white of the Macron and the sponsor, which matched the, the cock in the kit and the other pieces, works really well. Works really well. I'm going to give this one a solid, I'm going to give it an eight. I think if you're a Bradford City fan, you'd love this. Oh, now the away kit's good as well. I'm liking the double stripes, the almost like monogram initials. Little pattern in there. Ooh, and then the alternate shoulders. This is this is looking classy. Odd badge placements, which kind of work. Nice, correctly stopping the stripes and having the sponsor. Nice. I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give this a nine. This feels like a proper never seen before sort of class. Bromley up next. So Macron haven't had an equally exciting time on this one. Double Macron on the sleeves. That's not enough. Three with lines on the outside is tapered and starting right up here. Two there is just weird because you'd probably have one on the end anyway now. So I don't like that. I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give it a five. It's League Two. And 
I can back the little, I can back the, the collar and the cuffs, which match the outside of the badge. So this is gonna be a black version of this one. I'll give it a five as well. Just these, this bit is really causing me some serious visual griefage. Carlisle, wow. Only ruined by Acropura Cumbrian water for life's adventures. For my personal adventures, for my life. I want it powered by Cumbrian water specifically. Umbro are having a big old uh, with this pattern. Okay, it's working very well for them this year. I'm liking the stripage down there. Now the badges, they're not sitting on the stripes properly, but I think this balances it out. I think if this little graphic here wasn't there, I think it'd be like, whoa, you got too much space here, bozo. But no bozo from me. This is an absolute eight. Such a shame about the sponsor. At least the shimmery goes into the sponsor, but such a shame about the sponsor. The rest is glorious. The, oh yeah, really bloody good. Uh, this feels very Puma away kit. This doesn't feel very Umbro. I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give it a 6.2. I kind of like how brutal the badge is being just those two colors matching the sleeves and the collar. The graphic, I'm not buzzing about, and the Acupura, same again. Cheltenham up next. And is this an old kit? I don't know. I think, hmm, maybe. It might be an old kit. It looks familiar. Regardless, it's a pretty, pretty solid, striped, clean kit, especially for League Two. So I'm going to give this one a, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Chesterfield. Ooh. Puma template in the depths of League Two. I wouldn't personally be buying this one. I'm going to give this one a 5.5. Oh, they've tried something. Now, this is a Puma Away kit if I've ever seen one. Wow, alarming. Not quite sure what the graphic is. Is it lava? Is it beans? Is it uh, something very crumbly? I'm going to give it a... It makes this not very legible, does it? Round here, the text gets a bit ineligible. Does that make that make sense, isn't it? If it's legible, it has to be in unlegible. Unlegible, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to give this a four. It's a 3.2, isn't it? Why would you buy this ever? It's a 1.5. Colchester, hey! I was born here. And then I left at 18. And I never returned. Rightfully so, because hot lizard. The rest... I can sort of back it. Not the best thickness in the stripes here because it becomes really thin here. But Hot Lizard. The sponsor is so unbelievably bad that it takes it. There's no, you can't buy this kit because it's so bad. I might as well just say shit on the front. Just a big hot steaming pile of dump. I'm going to give this uh, one. So, there's just no reason. Oh, Hot Lizard. And again. And again, you can't walk around with a t-shirt that says hot lizard on it, can you? It, if this if that was a normal sponsor, a job serve community back, get that on there. You're looking in like the six or sevens. I'd probably give this one an eight. Actually, I'd give this a nine. This would be the best culture kit for years. But hot lizard, it's a one. A red culture awake, it's pretty cool. I like that. But hot lizard, you can't walk around with hot lizard. Decimating the scores. Without the hot lizard, I'd probably give this one a good uh, seven, maybe. Um, but no, it's a, it's a, it's a one. Ooh, this is a nice red kit here from Crew Alexandra. Mom Flake, 350 years of just cereal, I would assume. Pattern's nice. It looks, it looks like a pretty good fit on this, uh, generated 3D image. Um, colors good. Yeah, not much to complain about. Badge, two tones. I'm really liking that this year, oddly. I'm going to have to give this a, a solid 9. 9.5. You're in League 2. You're buzzing about this, bad boy. Oh, a little bit weird. Kind of like Arsenal's zigzag, zigzagness from the 90s. But I, I reckon this could be nice. I'm a bit annoyed there's too much space here. They're not equal, seemingly, on the graphic. It goes thin here, and then it's fat here, though, all the way there. That's a bit annoying, that. I'm going to give this one a... I'll give it a 7. It could be pretty nice if I see a real image of it. Ooh, Doncaster. Now they have the moth with a sword. I'm not liking the sponsor. 
Oxen, you have to do a bloody good kit for me to give you a good rating, quite clearly, because I don't like the badge. If it just said Oxen, I can sort of back that. I don't like this little graphic here. It feels more like a rugby shirt. I'm going to give this a four. This is not good. It's blue, pinstripes, black, oddly, sideways. Just a, uh, yeah, you don't really want to buy this, do you? This is a two. Fleetwood Town. Ruby Energy. Blah, blah, blah. It's what they've done. They've done with the graphic there. And that maybe, maybe it's the coolest little action I've ever done in my life. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, I'm losing my, I'm losing my marbles. Where have all my marbles gone? I've dropped on my marbles. I'm going to give this one a, oh, it's a four. I really, what, I don't like the pattern. Sorry. But the away kit has a giant cheese twist on it. What is that? Or a rope? Or a ponytail of a damsel? Crazy stuff. What is going on there? Oh, it's an anchor and it's a rope. I like the idea, but it looks like shit. So I'm going to give this one a four. Oh, you can't do triple ropage. What? That's insanity. Ooh, you've already done a rope on one kit. You can't do a rope on another rope. Never go triple rope, never go full ropage. I'm gonna give this one a five, and I'm really not sure why. Gilliam, this is all right. It's pretty quite a good Gilliam kit. I think it'd be pretty cool if one of this sleeve here was black and white, and it would sort of mirror the badge. That would be pretty sick, wouldn't it? Yes, Kieran, that'd be pretty sick. That's what I'm imagining you would reply to that in like unison, like a choir or like a, like an assembly. That would be pretty cool. I'm just saying. So maybe you should all do that right now whilst I have a drink. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a 7.5. It would be if I designed it and made that, that, that side uh, black stripes, then it'd probably be like a 9.9 .9 actually. Oh, okay. Feels retro. It feels like retro leads. I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give it a, an 8. Fair play to Macron for some of the centralization they've been doing. It, it works very well for them. Big fan. Oh, green number. I like it. I like it a lot. And I do like that the badge is in blue on this one. Would it work if it was greened out as well? I think it might. But I'm going to back this one. I would buy this because I like the color green. I'm gonna give this one a, I'm gonna give it a nine. Yeah, yeah, love it, mate. Ooh, Grimsby, but there's nothing grim about this kit. I do not like the Grimsby badge. It weirds me out. I don't know why, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna, it feels like the branding, the color scheme of like a really strong mint um, from like the 70s or something. It's a really classy affair. I'm gonna give this a 9.8. I think this is beautiful. I'd give it a 10. Fuck it. Fuck it. Are there rules? There are no rules. There's quite a lot of rules, actually. Like, you can't murder. But you can't even kill someone by accident. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to give this a 10. Uh, and also, don't hurt anyone ever, please. Just felt like I had to say that in case you didn't know. Now, the Grimsby Awake it. Weird. I'm not sure I like what they've done with this bad boy. I'm going to... It still... It sort of still feels retro, but... I don't know if I can... I'm going to give it a 4, actually. I can imagine this awkwardly being... All right, eventually. Ah, okay, it's pretty much the same as the Cambridge kit, which I did give a very high score, but I don't think the baby blue lends itself, or the pale blue lends itself to a particularly exciting kit. So I'm going to give this one a, I'll give it a, I'll give it a five. Horrible sponsor. Harrogate Town. Ooh, I don't really like this. Is this a home kit? Is this their colour? You got luminous yellow as your home weird. This is this is the most away kit home kit I've ever seen. Crazy. I'm gonna give this one a five. Uh I guess it works, but it's just it's an away kit. Now this is their away kit. And it is a blue shirt. And I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. Why well, have Envirovent okay to all black there, but here they've gone for the white. I mean, it does actually make sense, more sense and, and work, but that, I, that weirds me out. I, this is just, it's not a home kit and it's really bothering me. I'm going to give the actual away kit uh, just a fucking random pattern. I'm going to give it a five. What? When could you wear this and this? 
I still feel like you you could wear this against a, a yellow bright luminous team, but I don't think you would. The graphic is interrupting the sponsor, which has to have a different shade of yellow to here. So that is horrible. Why is their color scheme uh, like, like an esports team? What is this? I'm giving this a one. Awful. Suzuki gets me every time. But the color's terrible. I'm liking the lines here, but it is outside stitching. But I think that kind of works on this one. I think you go for red. <clears throat> no, I think you go for blue outside stitching here. And gold here. That's what I think you do. But I haven't done that, so I'm going to give this one a five. Now, the away kit is exactly the same, but red. Uh, a little bit better. I'm going to give this one a six. I think the colours are nicer. And then they've they've done a black one. It is just... Well, you're only buying one of these this season, aren't you? Jesus Christ. I'm going to give this one a five. Just a black t-shirt in it, really. Morecambe. Now, look at this pattern. What is that? What is going on there? I don't know. It should be loads of little shrimps. Oh, my God, the collar. Oh, my God. Oh, the sponsor. The fan cave authentic memorabilia. What? Memorab memorabilia. Is that memorabilia? What is going on over in Shrimp City? Oh, this is much better. Sponsor are horrendous. I'm liking that the badge is in red here because it's like a sort of pinkish red, which I feel like vibes well with the green, this particular turquoisey sort of green. I'll give it a 7.5. I like this. This is pretty cool. Uh, pretty boring. To be honest, pretty, pretty boring. I imagine if you bought the previous Newport County home kit, you probably don't need to buy this one. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a two. Oh, this looks like that whole City Away kit. Uh, this is, oh, it's a bit cool. Sponsor, I'm not liking. It's not vibing with the rest of it, but... I'm going to give it a six. You might buy this one if you're a Newport County fan. I think I think the, the, the upper bit is pretty cool. Ooh, a little red and then a little green tint number. Oh, the badge in red. Ooh. Oh, that's quite cool. I like that. I like that little change. It's like they've just changed the hue saturation of Photoshop. That's fun. And then what's, what's in here? Is it dragons? I can't, I can't really make out what any of the graphic is feel like there's a dragon in there there's going to be some dragons in there aren't they little dragon boys i'm gonna give this one a eight i think it's pretty nice knots county oh they've still got that john pie auction sponsor terrible and because of that they sort of really don't want to put any color anywhere else because it just clashes with that this could be a grimsby kit i'm gonna give this one a oh they're really hamstrung by this to be fair to them I'll give it a 5.5. .5. Oh, it's an orange t-shirt. What do we need to say about this? Good sponsor. Cool little logo, but it doesn't need to be in a box. Just have that logo like that. That's a great little image there. I'm going to give this one a... The badge should be black and white. That would be cool. I'll give this one a... I'll actually, you know, I'll give it a 5 for some reason. Ooh. Now, purple. I do have a rock on for the color purple. But the badge with the gold and the black and the white, not working for me in there. Not working. This should be white or black. And the badge should be black and white. I would like that very much. I'm going to give this one a six, though. Oh, Port Vale. Now they've had the Puma treatment. Which, to be fair, if you're an OD club and you get in this template, it's not bad. You get a funky little pattern and then you get your stuff centralised. I kind of like it on this one. I think this works for Port Vale. I'm going to give this... A, I'll give it a seven. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No. 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 What is the pink going with the with the with the green with the lime green? Hmm. No. No. I'm gonna give this one. I think the stroke is too thin here as well. You wanna you wanna thicker stroke than that. You want a strong stroke, my friend. I'm gonna give this a three. Oh, this is oh, I like the little gradient of the stripes to allow the sponsor to shine, but also not be too big in your face. Badge is gigantic. Nice. Cool. I don't like the collar here, this little middle bit, but I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a 7.5. Salford. This is crap. What is the collar there? Awful. I'm going to give this one a, I'll give it. A free. I think this is the, their third. I'm not sure how awake it's been released, but also boring. So I'm going to give this a free. 
Swindon. Oh, me permit, me permit. Where, where is, where is me permit for me car? This is a red Adidas team wear. I'm going to give it a four. This is also Adidas team wear. And now I'm going to change this to a two and this to a one. What about their third kit? They don't have one. Um, Tranmere. Oh, it's going so well until this absolute block. Insanity. Apart from that, I'm back at it. I kind of like it. But yeah, I'm going to have to drop that down because of this to like a... It's going to be like a free. Ugly little bastard that, isn't it? Not you, mate. Don't worry. Oh, is it Roma? Crazy. There's one too many buttons here. I think you go one button. There's two too many buttons. I think you go one button on this one. I'm going to give this one a nine. Because apart from that, really beautiful, this one. Nah, uh, this one... Ooh! Now, I don't trust the ocean, but I do like war documentaries. And that very much looks like a ship ready for battle. I'm going to give this one an eight. I think have it. Uh, look, they, Barrow didn't put submarines in the sleeves. Tranmere aren't making that mistake. Walsall, Poundland. <laughs> Buy me a drink first, you little saucy bugger. I don't really like it, to be honest. Poundland is a fun sponsor, though, to be fair. But I'm going to give this a 4.5. Nah, nah, don't like this one either. I'm gonna give this one a it's, it's a, it's a four, mate. It's a free Warsaw again. Uh, it's like a shit PSG, isn't it? I'm gonna give this one a the land should be in gold. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I'm gonna give this one. This is a bit better. I'm, I'll give this a I'll give this a seven. This might be pretty cool if you're a Warsaw fan. And thankfully, that is it. I've done all the fully professional. Leagues. I've been your boy Kieran, and now I am knackered because I've done two of these recordings back to back, and I am sick of looking at bloody gets. I've been your boy Kieran. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one in the navy. We all wear Barrow's kit.